just arrived in Edinburgh and we just checked into our first Airbnb. So this is what it looks like. We have a bedroom right here and a matching bedroom right here. And then if you go up the stairs, here's the living area as well as the kitchen and dining area. There's also two bathrooms. I completely forgot to show those. I had to brush my teeth and I had to wash my face. A little flight debrief. I'm just going to put on a little bit of mascara using my handy dandy new travel mirror, which is already coming in handy. It's 3 p.m. here right now. We boarded our flight from North Carolina at 7 p.m. and then landed in London at 6.30 a.m. their time, which was 2.30 a.m. our time. Is that right or is it 1.30? So it was 1.30 a.m. at home. And I got all of 10 minutes of sleep. So did Mac, we were both really exhausted. And then I had a mini meltdown in the London airport because I apparently packed more liquids than I was supposed to and somehow I got away with it coming out of the States. So I had to throw away some of my reusable containers and all of my brand new like body lotion and conditioner. Because I had gotten no sleep, I just cried all through the airport and it was absolutely humiliating, but I was so exhausted. I just gave in to my emotions. And I did end up having a nice long, like at least half an hour nap on the flight from London to Edinburgh, which is where we are now. We got to meet the host of this Airbnb. He's a super, super nice guy and talked to us for quite a while. I am obsessed with London accents. So he definitely has more of a Scottish accent, but whenever I visited London a few years ago, I was like, this is, this is home. <laughs> I asked Mac, if we moved to London, how many years do you think it would take for us to get that accent? I think technically like never, but I want it so bad. So Mac and I are about to step out and go get something to eat. We don't want to eat a lot because we are waiting on our friends to get here that we're traveling with, Kaylee and Michael, and they'll be here in probably about an hour their flight lands. But we are so hungry. We're gonna go get a snack and probably a drink or something before they get here. I feel so much better now that I brush my teeth and wash my face. I wore my flare leggings and my platform converse on the plane, so I kept that on, but I changed into my gray sweater and put on this scarf that I just got in from Amazon that I bought specifically for this trip. I've been wanting this scarf for so long. I've already seen quite a few people wearing scarves, so I'm trying to fit in, trying to look a little bit more European and not so American. Not that I'm ashamed, but you know. walking around. There's Edinburgh Castle, which we're gonna go to tomorrow. We have a tour booked. We're just are killing time until Michael and Kaylee get here. And we did the Granny's Green Steps. It is so chilly here, it feels so great. And then we went and stumbled upon Victoria Street. It's really pretty, everything is so pretty here. I told Mac it feels like a movie set. It doesn't feel like a real city. <laughs> dinner we're going to the makers mash and then I think we're gonna find a cocktail bar with some live music yes. after okay makers mash had an hour and a half wait so we're going to a different place called Bohemia we're gonna see if they have availability Saturday morning. We all came home last night in 
died and we're so exhausted. I could sleep for half the day. It is now about 9.30. Plan is, we are getting ready. We're going to visit the farmer's market. Then we're gonna do the castle tour of Edinburgh Castle. Then we are going to get pizza at a pizza place on the way to go hike Arthur's Seat, which I am very excited about. Whenever I come to towns like this, I am most excited about seeing the landscape and the hiking. It's not going. Oh, matching. <laughs> <laughs> Spinach and feta, please. Yeah, uh, that is cold if that's okay. Mm. I can tell you what I've got hot if you yeah. rather. So hot at the moment, we've got either bacon cheese chili jam, regular pork, pork apple cheddar, or haggis split. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the, I don't know if I want the pork apple cheddar or the bacon cheese and chili. Okay, I think I'm gonna do bacon cheese and chili. No worries. Yo. Thank you. Okay. Got our sausage. Mm. The haggis and black pudding. The only one of us. Only brave soul. <laughs> to Prince's Street Garden. That's where the fountain is and all those pretty flowers. I have no clue what I'm talking about. I just, I'm curious. We're trying to figure it out. That can shoot for two miles. The big gun. In case you're looking for a way out. <laughs> this is the hospital. I'll be your nurse. Nurse Kate. <laughs> I don't want you as my nurse. I'm a good nurse. Elephant's toes. Governor's house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shakes out. Mm, so, so the cannons can shoot 3.8 miles. That's right. So Michael was right. Whatever. They can shoot to the water. We'll give him this one time of being right. <laughs> okay. So I'm the bad guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen a gutter that pretty. It's the garden of the Scottish National War Memorial. got done touring the castle, Edinburgh Castle, and now we're gonna go eat some pizza, check out the Royal Mile, and then I believe we're gonna hike there to Arthur's seat. <laughs> Arthur's seat, which is top of that. About halfway. It's already stunning. <laughs> From the top of Arthur's seat. The music in the background. No, 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 the sound. Boys, run like this.
we finished the hike. Now we're going to pee. I'm gonna go pee. Going to pee and then get Find a beer. Somewhere. Get a beer on the way home and we're then change going, and then go to dinner. We're Where are our reservations? Going to Copper Blossom. espresso martini you're gonna stay up all night and teach us the card game what's the card game euchre 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 is it good oh that's really yummy i want to try it it's like kind of strong but i kind of like that like <laughs> that is amazing already started eating Phone eats first though <laughs> fish tacos these shrimp, guys didn't stand a chance goat cheese a burger Duck something. Duck poison. Our espresso martinis. <laughs> Old fashioned. Hey, don't go anywhere. I'm working in this Tourist. Michael and I will not hold hands for you guys. I don't play. Everybody's gonna think we're just a bunch of alcoholics. They might be like ready to go. Back home, I'm ready for bed. We're going to play a card game and just hang out until we go to sleep. Mac and I went to Love Crumbs this morning and had a coffee and a little scone. And now we are all going to Dean Village. I promise this isn't a graveyard. This is Dean's Bridge. Confirmed. Dean Bridge. Dang, this is Dean Bridge. Sausage roll, please. Yeah, that's four pints, please. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is it good? Is it better than yesterday? It looks fine. <laughs> Let's just have an OD. <laughs> Two pounds, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. We are leaving St. Andrew's Square behind us and we're headed to go check out Scott Monument. It's literally right beside it. Welcome to any of the newcomers. We're the Spinning Blowfish. We're playing some free music for you here at Waverly Bridge. We welcome you to just stay for a while and have a wee listen. Dancing is sometimes recommended just as a method of keeping warm, if nothing else. And we know that some of you 
Well, if you've come from pretty much anywhere else on the planet, you're probably used to warmer weather, so we appreciate that you're in your various layers standing out there. So do jump up and down a wee bit with us and you'll soon warm up. That is the National Monument of Scotland, built in 1822. Wild. That is the Nelson Monument. Nelson Monument. We loved Arthur's seat, but we were saying we definitely need to come up here. If you come to Scotland, you have to go to Calton Hill because the views are actually, we think, better because you're a little bit closer to everything, so you can see the whole city of Edinburgh. It's beautiful. Okay, what's your favorite part of Edinburgh so far? I think just like wandering around. Oh, I know. Stumbling upon the little market today randomly. Oh, that was fun. That was cool. That and was in Dean Village, right? Yeah. And I think also. I forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, all the flowers. There's a lot of pretty flowers. Yeah, <laughs> all the like the fake flowers around the fake restaurants flowers too. And the real yellow and the real ones. ones up on Arthur's seat were really pretty. Yeah, I think mine's Arthur's seat was my favorite. Yeah, I really that was just beautiful. And I like the views on top of Calton Hill, but yeah, that was pretty. Sweet. I like the hike. So. Oh, goody. Hey. All right, Mac and Michael. What's been your favorite part of Edinburgh so far? Um, Can you guys get closer together? <laughs> I really liked Arthur's seat. That was fun. <laughs> I thought the market that we were at earlier was pretty neat. That is so funny. Oh, the one today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that energy and stuff. Wait, Mac, I said Arthur's seat, and Kaylee said the market today. Really? Yeah. Oh. Wow, it's like we married our equals or I know. something. <laughs> Our clones. That's funny. I'm just gonna go with salted caramel and dark chocolate. Okay. <laughs> a, double. a double, yes. Yeah. Please, thank Both you. Did you get salted caramel and chocolate? What'd you get, Mac? I got the coffee and. No, you did get the caramel. coffee. Mm -hmm. I didn't want. It's trying to be. Uh... <laughs> okay, I am ready for bed. We had the best ramen, but I am so stuffed. I came home and showered, and we were repacked because tomorrow morning we leave for Inverness. I hope I'm saying that right. And this part of the Scotland vlog series will end as we leave tomorrow because I'm doing a different video for every single city. I am really ready to get out of the city though just because whenever I travel, my favorite part is hiking and seeing more of the landscape side of things. So I'm super excited for the rest of our trip. And I think my favorite part about Edinburgh was Arthur's seat, that hike. It wasn't a hard hike. It was a pretty steady incline. Um, we got out of breath, but it wasn't anything too difficult. I would say the rocks are very slippery. We did it on a very dry day and I still slipped a few times. And I was also only in my on cloud tennis shoe, so I wasn't even in my hiking boots, but that was my favorite part of the trip. I loved the little Edinburgh farmer's market. It was really small. And so the one down in Dean Village was definitely a lot bigger and a lot more populated. And that was definitely more fun. There was a lot of walking. I think we averaged eight miles a day. The city is pretty clean. I mean, it's dirtier than like cities that I'm used to, but it's not as dirty as like when I went to Florence, Italy, for example, that was a really, really dirty city. They have street sweepers here. They clean the sidewalks. So it is a cleaner city. This is also totally random, but I have yet to wash my hair. We've already been here for two days. So this is from Amazon. It's a powdered dry shampoo. The reason why I love this is because you don't have to worry about an aerosol can. You can travel with it and it doesn't count as a liquid because it's a powder, but it works so well and it has lavender essential oil in it. So it smells really good. You just sprinkle some in your hair and tap it in there and then rub it in really well. And my hair has stayed completely clean and I don't feel like I have to wash it yet. So this is a really good travel essential. That's about it for Edinburgh. Do you want to say what your favorite part was? My favorite part was probably Arthur's seat. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, because Kaylee and Michael said their favorite part was Dean Village Market. Mm -hmm.
which is funny. So we both like the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm very excited for the next place. So tomorrow we're leaving at 8.30 in the morning. We're renting a car for the rest of the trip so we can get around very easily because we are doing like a lot of highlights of Scotland. We're driving to Inverness and I think we're going to a scotch tasting on the way. So that'll be fun. I'm not a fan of scotch, but I'm going to taste it just because I'm here. I think we're doing a distillery tour as well. So Edinburgh was great, but I am very excited for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Thank you.